Hey guys, this is Pokemon Spirit Gold, video number 39, and I promise you this is the last video of Goldenrod Team Rocket stuff, so yeah, this is it, for now. <laughs> well, forever, actually, because this is the last video. Um, yeah. In the last video, we took on two of the Rocket admins, uh, Proton and Ariana. And I decided to go down to the uh, Pokemon Center after that just to heal up uh, the Pokemon. And uh, yeah, I don't need to be here. Let's see, go back. So all the Pokemon are healed up because Archer, the last Team Rocket exec, is actually pretty uh, pretty legit. So I wanted to have my uh, my team set for him. I wanted to be ready to go. And uh, let's see, I know what the first Pokemon is that he sends out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make mine. Reorder mine for that. Alright, so we're at the observation deck now. And here he is. Mm-hmm. You do that. Okay, so this is Rocket Exec Archer, or Admin Archer. Yeah, Executive Archer. He's basically like the second in command behind Giovanni. So he starts off with the level 41 Zangoose. Which is why I uh, put Caesar up front so that he can close combat. Because <clears throat> Zangus is a normal type and weak to fighting, so there you go, and there it goes. Alright. That's going to send in Gliscor, which is a ground slash flying type. So, Tundra. Glyscore actually outmoves Tundra and uses Fire Fang, so I should have known that, you know, it would have a move like that. Because, I mean, Ice is the obvious thing to use against it, so of course it would have Fire Fang. Super effective, Ice Beam, and that takes down the Glyscore. The Fire Fang didn't do too much damage, so that's pretty good. Uh, now he's going to send in Scizor, which is the Bug Slash Steel type. So I think I will uh, send Caesar back in. Hopefully, I, I got to teach him flamethrower, but hopefully uh, flame wheel will be good enough for this guy. And it is, it's super effective, so there he goes, and Caesar's at 42, and this is going pretty well so far, right? Yeah. Just wait. Now he's going to send in Gyarados. And... I really don't have anything for Gyarados. That's... Gyarados is one of those Pokemon that, you know... You need to have an electric type for it. But, uh... You know, usually another kind will do. He does have Ice Fang, though, which is really strong against Jethro. So the Pedal Dance does about half damage, and then the Ice Fang finishes him up, so... Now Mayhem. And, you know, he, he is part uh, flying type, so he's actually weak to rock type attacks. That's if you can actually get an attack off. Mayhem here uh, wasn't able to outspeed Gyarados, so he took the waterfall. Okay, and it's super effective, of course, and Mayhem faints, so that's, you know, too bad. 
so now I'm thinking my next hope is Tundra. Because Tundra has pretty decent special attack and Ice Beam is uh, neutral. But he still goes first with the waterfall and Tundra. Ooh. Tundra actually survives it and doesn't quite get the knockout with Ice Beam. I thought he would. She would, so. I'm using uh, this here Hyper Potion on Tundra. Hopefully, uh, be able to take out the Gyarados with it. But he decides to withdraw Gyarados and send out Houndoom. So, not exactly the best Pokemon to be uh, fighting Houndoom with is Tundra. But, uh, yeah, that happened. So I'm sitting in Donovan, and uh, I got kind of lucky here. I, I told Donovan to use Earth Power, and he goes and uses Sunny Day. So if I had used Surf, it probably wouldn't have done as much. So that was a lucky decision on my part. Um, Earth Power still doesn't do that much. Uh, he does use the Citrus Berry, but hopefully the Earth Power, my next Earth Power, should be able to knock it out. That, doubt, <laughs> that Dark Pulse does a lot of damage, it was a critical hit, but still, a lot of damage. Alright, so the Houndoom goes down, and Donovan grows to level 41. So I'm trying to, oh, and protect. No, I don't want you to learn protect. No, yeah, give up on it. Donovan not learn protect. So I'm kind of trying to remember what his next Pokemon. Oh, Drapion! That's right. Uh, normally, I'd keep Donovan in because Drapion is weak to Ground types, but I don't want to. And because it is a sunny day, I'm just gonna bring Donovan back and send in Caesar. So hopefully, Caesar will be able to take advantage of uh, the bright sunlight. And uh, you know boost up his fire attacks a little bit. But apparently not enough, because it didn't even get him down in the yellow. Drapion, it's cross poison. Wow. And I looked it up, because I can remember what his typing is. Drapion is a, uh, um, well, crap, I already forgot. Hold on, let me look it up again. I think he's a poison slash dark type, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here. Draft Beyond. Doo -doo. Alright, so I send in Q-Tip and Q-Tip you sing. Yeah, Draft Beyond is a poison slash dark type. So, his only weakness actually is ground. Um, just because of the way his typing works out. I decide to use this uh, opportunity to heal up some of my other Pokemon because I know what he has after this Drapion. It's the Gyarados, and he's only got like in the red, so. Whatever I use on the Gyarados, whatever Pokemon I use on it, it's going to, you know, knock it out. So I did heal Donovan back up, and I sent him in. Drapion gets the first attack with Crunch. Shouldn't do too much, I wouldn't think. No. And then Donovan needs Earth Power. And that'll knock out the Drapion, so hey, there we go. Drapion is one of those Pokemon that I've never used before in battle, but maybe I should think about it. Alright, so um, he ends with this Gyarados that has almost nothing left. He uses Waterfall, 
which I didn't see if the sun like quit shining already or what. Doesn't do too much though. And I decided to be a moron and use earth power there. Like that wasn't even a misclick. I'll just go ahead and admit it. That was just me being a moron and say, oh, let's see what happens when I use earth power. No, I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah. So I need to uh, heal him back up. Uh, Donovan here. He's going to use Waterfall again. And that doesn't do too much, so that's good. He's going to use Waterfall again. And I know I can take that Waterfall. And now I use, just use Takedown, because I know that can get him over with, and I want to get him over with. So there he goes. Donovan grows to level 42, and uh, that's it. We defeated Archer. So that, yeah, he was pretty tough. Okay. Oh, here's the director guy. <laughs> you see how Donovan like moved out of the way? I never noticed that before. That's funny. Alright, so I obtained the rainbow wing, which is kind of important. You can climb the bell tower in Acrochic City when you have a rainbow wing. Oh, but then he like just conveniently tells you, Oh, but there's, you know, something else you need, but I don't know what it is, so, you know, sucks for you. Like, oh, well, thanks, dude. What is it this time? Oh! Zing! Okay, well. And I'm getting a call from someone. More than likely, mother. Where am I going? Come on, let's go in here. There we go. Down to the... Well, yeah, fifth floor, I guess. Mm-hmm, I have. So, yep. Down here. Down here. And through there. And left here. Down through here. Then go straight across. And then let the chicky pub down here. And use the lobby. And through the little carpet here. And through here. And... All right, now we're back outside. And, uh, yeah, we'll go over here really quickly and heal the Pokemon. Because they kind of need some healing because they got all knocked out in that battle. Alright, I'll take my Pokemon for a few seconds. Do, 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 do. Thank you for waiting. You restored your Pokemon. Caesar is feeling better, so you decided to take Caesar with you. Oh, well, that's great. That Caesar's feeling so great. Long, durable rope. Okay. I'm not sure what that was about. No, I don't need the Pokédex. Um, here we are. This is what I need. Pokémon. Q-Tip is still holding TM6, which he got from that, uh, Drapion that's toxic. <clears throat> so, yeah, I forgot to say that. When, uh, he sends out the Drapion, send out your thief Pokémon, and... He'll get TM6 Toxic, which is a nice move. It's really nice. I might actually consider teaching it to someone. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Oh my god, it just got dark. Okay. Um, yeah, originally right there was where this video was supposed to end. But I figured I would just throw this part in at the end. Just to kind of make it, you know, feel like a more legit video. Uh, you'll remember we came through Ilex Forest once already before, like early in the game. And some of you may know what I'm after, but for those who don't, I will just let you, you know, wallow in the suspense. So Donovan used Surf. And, uh, let's see. I didn't have Surf last time I was here. Golduck, level 16. Eh. I don't need this right now. And I don't feel like setting up a repel. Here's a 
item I forgot to pick up, an antidote. I could have picked it up when I came through here before, but I just forgot. Yes, let's surf. And, uh, let's see here, over here, hey, wh what's this guy? Who are you? What? Huh? Oh my god, it's a Celebi, level 30. Oh, would you look at that, would you just look at it? So, you know, if you're looking for a good grass slash psychic type to add to your team, Celebi's pretty decent. Um, <laughs> you can, uh, you can actually come over here and get it right when you get surf which was in Egertik City like what video was that for me like 23 or 4 or something like that maybe even earlier than that I don't know but yeah I mean I probably should have done this then but I wasn't I didn't want to, to add Celebi to my team so I figured I'd just wait but uh if for some reason you know you're playing this game and you're you know you want this Pokemon you know, come and get it, because it's just here for the taking. Oh, critical hit, okay. Alright. Let's see. What do I need to do here? The Surf actually did a little bit more than I thought it would. It's not very effective. Yes, we know this. Oh, that's right, safeguard. Can't put it to sleep. This'll hurt. Alright, Surf. Oh, that must have been, like, two Surfs. I just didn't realize it. Alright, so that got it down to almost nothing. Which is good, because that's what I need it at. I don't need it at nothing, I need it at almost nothing. I slip through the Ultra Ball. And, let's see here. Are you got it? Are you got No! Man, Arg almost had it. So he tries to use Baton Pass, but fails since he's not on a team. Um, his safeguard did fall, though, if you didn't see that. So now I can put it to sleep, but yeah. He went ahead and knocked out Donovan anyway. Donovan fainted. Yes, I will use the next Pokemon. Abso-freaking-lutely. Alright, so your foe's weak. Get him, Jethro. Ah, Jethro, brah. Okay, so. Uh, Celebi uses Magical Leaf, which won't do crap. And Jethro, when he gets a chance, will use Sleep Powder. Yeah. Alright, now the Wild Celebi is fast asleep. Apparently, the Wild Celebi was holding a Lumberry, which wakes him up from sleep. Jethro uses Sleep Powder for a second time, knowing that Celebi is not holding a second Lumberry. This time, Celebi is asleep for good. Matt throws an Ultra Ball. And it's caught! So, did you like my little, like, golf announcer voice there? So, <laughs> I don't know where that came from, that just, like, yeah. This Pokemon wanders across time. Grass and trees flourish in the forest in which it has appeared. Would you give a nickname to Celebi? No. Celebi's transferred to box one. Alright. So that's, you know, the thing for here. Celebi. So let's get the heck out of here. And it's telling me I can't fly here. So I gotta get out of the forest first before I can use fly. No, I don't want to head with the tree. What is this? Oh, a Badoo! Hey! Badoo! Oh, uh, got away safely. Yes, let's surf on this here water. Almost made it! And it is a Paris. So, yeah, we could just say... See ya, Paris! Got away safely. Don't need to, you know, knock you out or anything. Just no need to get away safely. Alright, and now we're back out here. Let's see. What do I want? I'm just going to go back up to town. I was like, should I fly back to Mahogany? No, I'm just going to go back up to town. To Goldenrod City.
So, um, in, I guess in the next video, we'll just continue on our quest before we were so rudely interrupted by Team Rocket. So, see ya.